I've never been married or engaged, and as I get older, less driven to connect my heart and soul with any woman. A then as she professes to be in a walk shortly, I'll be turning 63, and have taken 3 to 8 red tablets daily to resist any romantic feelings. A woman, of course, doesn't actually have to be lonely. She can go out and find a guy with no problem, but she wants the guy the cutest that she's ever seen, which reduce her to a man that's outside of her social circle. Remember before the internet, dating back in the ancient days, the only places you could actually meet people were school, work or social functions that you basically needed to get invited to. For the rest of this video, I'm going to rant about why women give set when men go their own way. I've noticed where the longer I go without dating or relationships, the less interested I actually have to ever go back to them again. The more comfortable I become being my own master in making my own decisions. I find myself increasingly only interacting with women in environments where they have to be well behaved, like work environments in professional settings. When you're interacting with the female cashier, sales associate, waitress, or any other hospitality job. She has to be on her best behavior, and her attitude has to be positive as well as uplifting, because her manager is always watching. You have her at that advantage, when she's facilitating some sort of product or service for you. But if you see her outside of work, she can treat you as poorly as she wants, and get away with it. The thing is, women on the whole are becoming extremely bitter, because most of them have to work and have to put on a fake smile. So when they date men, all that negative and hostile energy often gets dumped on the guide. Or when she actually finally meets up with him, she's being on her best behavior all day at work, so she can be on her worst behavior with you when she sees you're on her off time and uncommunicative around me at home. It used to be that men could actually use force or threat of force to get women we were dating or married to behave themselves. Obviously we can't do that anymore, so women don't respect us and all power and authority we might actually have anymore. In the form of walls of texts, and they're often interested in me, and I have complete indifference to it. I'm like a tired old dog that just wants to sleep next to the fireplace and be left alone in peace and quiet. I would actually say that going my own way has made me far less tolerant of the types of crap that women, and men for that matter, throw my way. It's not that I've become antisocial. Tinder women I've met this year were unpleasant and toxic. Not a coincidence. As for the title, Women Hating Bachelors, it's fairly obvious why it happens. It usually has to do with the idea that misery loves company, and the idea of a man doing whatever he wants in life makes them miserable because a single man is a free slave. They are taught that men are their servants from a young age. Women despise bachelors because our money is untouchable. If a woman hooks you up with one of her friends, she can use your house on girl's night, when it's hosted at her place, or yours and mooch off of you. But if you don't have a girlfriend or wife, she can't really invade your space. I spoke before about women invading male spaces, living with the woman and getting married, like an extension of a female kind on the whole, entering your space and colonizing it. Men colonized the world. Women colonized male spaces with their sexuality. Bachelors' taxis have a long history. When you're a man in a relationship, you see it as the man's natural state, and you think every man should do the same thing, because it validates your reason for existing in this world. Thing is bachelors and went their own way, because they could discuss female nature and male-oriented and segregated spaces. They could discuss how terrible living with a woman was with a man whose wife ran off. So many men realized it was better to stay single. Other men like Newton stayed single because they were too busy doing other things with the world. As a confirmed bachelor, I assumed that if I were still in love with the woman, I would be punch drunk and easy to manage. Women hate bachelors. But men spending time alone thinking, creating, and writing is where innovation comes from. If we could employ technology to create a large-scale vacuum against geocentric, it's no coincidence that feminism and systemic oppression of men in the West are getting worse. 
As men gain things like adult content, and now personal online spaces, we're trying to create a vacuum virtual space of male energy, ideas and attempts are being made by society to block its continued existence.